afraid. I am here to take you to a good life. A life that you were born to. I beg you, Uncle, love her as I would were I here and ensure that she is in receipt of all that is due to her as a child of mine. Do you have in mind my position? That is simply impossible. What is right can never be impossible. What has she been named? Dido Bell Lindsay. She takes your name. I am not ashamed. We will call her Dido. Elizabeth was in much need of a companion. And that is what we shall say when questions are asked. We shall be receiving visitors for dinner. Why do you not dine with your family ever? Because that is not correct. May I present the second of my two nieces, Miss Dido Lindsay? I find her repulsive. Papa, how may I be too high in rank to dine with the servants and too low to dine with my family? Though I understand she is kept under interesting rules, she raises questions. Would you do me the honor of taking some air with me? Don't you care what people will say? What should anyone say? I have no idea she would be so black. One does not make a wife of the rare and exotic. Does she still have a tongue? I have a tongue. Though yours explains well enough why I may not marry your son. My greatest misfortune would be to marry into a family who would carry me as their shame. I've enabled every rule of convention so that you would know exactly where you belong. I don't know that I find myself anywhere. Do you love her? As though she were created of you and me. What of your mother? I know very little of her other than the color she has given me. Then at least you know she was beautiful. You would risk your position for a man without name. Laws that allow us to diminish the humanity of anybody are not laws. He speaks a voice for people who do not have one. If I had your choice, I would choose the man I loved. There are rules in place which dictate how we live. You break every rule when it matters enough, Papa. I am the evidence. <laughs>